All right, welcome to the chapter three video. Trying some new stuff again. This chapter, I got a new toy. Um, little fancy microphone here. See how it works. I did a little test. Uh, the audio seemed to be pretty good, but uh, we'll see. Um, just going to click through some slides here. This is a long one, a long PowerPoint presentation. So I'm a little nervous about the length here. So I may go a little fast. You may need to pause rewind uh, to check some of the different details out as we go. So let me get started here. Um, looking at the first section, we're looking at measures of central tendency. So we have a group of data. How would we describe the center? So we're going to talk about the arithmetic mean, which will be a calculation you're familiar with, the median, which you may or may not have heard of, uh, and then um, what it means for a statistic to be resistant, and then the mode. Oh yeah, and then the last one, kind of related to the resistance thing about what are, what are the mean and median tell us about the shape of the distribution. So the mean or the arithmetic mean, typically when we talk about mean in this course, we'll talk about the arithmetic mean. Uh, there are other means, the geometric mean and uh, there's another one too that have different calculations. But the arithmetic mean is basically the average you're familiar with where you add them all up uh, and then divide by how many there are. So for the population mean, uh, we use the Greek letter mu for that, like M-U. Uh, looks kind of like a U, but it's got a little tail at the front. Um, you just add up all the observations and then divide by the population size, which you use capital M. And then the sample mean is the X with a little bar across it, uh, appropriately named X bar. I'm not making that up. We call it X bar. And that one, you add them all up and divide by the sample size, which we use a lowercase n for that. Typically, you see here that the parameters, the measures of the population, we use Greek letters. And then for measures of the sample, we use uh, our typical Roman alphabet uh, or Latin alphabet with symbols, maybe an X with a bar or something else like that. So it's basically like the balance point. So if you have a, just kind of made up here some ages of a bunch of cousins and you're trying to find the average age, it would just be right in the middle, 12 and a half. If you have some older cousin come in or Uncle Joe or whatever who's age 34, then he's going to pull that mean uh, over to the right, make it a lot heavier. So the average, not a lot heavier, but a lot, uh, a lot higher um, average age there, about 16. So it's kind of like a, a balance point, a tipping point. Uh, one of the keys here, illustrated by this example, is that it's not resistant to outliers. So that outlier of age 34 really affects the mean because you add them all up. So any large value is really going to skew that mean. The median is basically the one in the middle. I got a graphic here from an author that I like, uh, Khalil Azid. Uh, Azad, he's uh, or Khalid Azad, he's basically got this illustration that if you split it up 50% and 50%, the one in the middle is the median. So if we look at our ages, uh, we've got six of them, so that we can't be right in the middle. There's no observation that's right in the middle, so we just go halfway between them, 12 and a half. And if we have our cousin Joe or Uncle Joe that we put in there, uh, it's not going to change. The median is still going to be 12 and a half because that 34 didn't change where the middle one went. All right, uh, the mode is just the most common observation. We typically only use this for qualitative data. Uh, when we have quantitative data, numbers, et cetera, then we uh, use the mean or the median. Let's talk a little bit about distribution shape. So here we have right skewed. If we look at the middle, that would be basically where that peak is, maybe a little bit uh, to the right. Uh, that would be the median, but then the mean would be pulled up by some of those really high observations. So right skewed, that mean is going to be pulled uh, to the right. Uh, left skewed, kind of opposite, uh, it'll be the median will be there, and then the mean will be pulled pulled down by those low observations. Symmetric, the mean and median will be approximately equal. Oops, kind of went fast there. 